Hi, my name is Wilfred. Hi, I'm Carmen. And we live in South Plainfield, New Jersey. Uh, we are living here uh, more than 20 years. As of right now, it's just me, my mom, and my brother. Right around the corner there is the Casada house, and we're going to go surprise them and let them know they're being rescued. Unfortunately, their oldest son, James, was in a horrific car accident a few years ago, and now is a quadriplegic. And the only way he's able to get around the house is in his wheelchair that he controls with his mouth. James is a great person. He's um, always friendly. He's always has a smile on his face. He's always hanging out with everybody. Karina is my brother's caregiver throughout the day. We do different things. We um, go to therapy, we make appointments, we hang out at his house, watch movies. A day with him is, it's not a bad day. It's always a good day. We might have a trouble here, you know, something there, but we always try to solve it as best we can. James' accident happened in August of 2014. We all went out and then he left with two other friends and they got into a car accident. When James went to the surgery room, the doctor didn't give us like a good chance that he's gonna even survive the survive. surgeries. And the doctor told after the date of surgery that he's gonna be paralyzed for the rest of his life. It was bad, I mean, I looked at him, I'm like, Bro, like you got this. Like I kept telling him, like even though he was unconscious, I was like, like I don't care. I know you. You're able to overcome anything. And I just, I always kept that thought in my head. Weeks later, a lot of accomplishments was made. Even though it might be little, but for him, I think it was really big. Being able to eat anything he wants, be able to talk to everybody, be able to breathe on his own. Now he's um, at home and he goes to therapy when he can. Slide it in. We're gonna prop your elbows up there, James. I would describe myself as a fighter. My positivity honestly comes from my support group. I mean, Prina has been there. Like she showed me like how much a person can care, and then my mom and my brother, just for them willing to sacrifice all their time and all their strength and energy. If anyone deserves to be rescued, it's the Casada family. All they have is, is love. They sacrifice everything for each other. Their son, their brother. That's their focus. Pretty nice out. James is making a lot of progress, but the house is not meeting a lot of his needs. We have to change everything. I move James to the first floor where he has more access with his wheelchair. But this bedroom is small. My current living situation is not the greatest. I'm stuck in a very small room, the most uncomfortable bed. Having a new bathroom is especially important for James. If I was able to have a bathroom that could accommodate me, it would be the greatest. I am a mother, and the only thing that I want to see is be, he be happy. And if George to the rescue come, it will be a great thing. Carmen, how are you? Hi, George nice Oliphant, James. I, I, I got your story from Father Hank over at uh, St. Joseph's Parish, and um, I heard about uh, about your accident. I'm so sorry, man, and you know, what you guys are dealing with in this house. You know, little house, but full of love, and, but it could definitely be a little bit more convenient for you, so uh, that's what I'm here to do. Please come in. Come right. in, yeah. Oh, come in, I'll see what we're dealing with. <laughs> come in. The house right now is not set up for what James needs. And I got an amazing set of experts to help me. We got our architect, Dan Diagostino, and our general contractor, Paul Lopa. Our designer, Lavette Shrem. Yep, so uh, this is it. This is his bedroom right now. No frills, doesn't look like, it's almost like he came out of the hospital and he's just like. They never made it a home. Right now, James's room is Bleak. There's nothing on the walls. He never moved in, and they've just left it a blank slate. This is kind of just his workout room, and then closet, closet, closet. So I don't know why we can't just rip those down and turn this into one big room. We should. That'll expand his living space. These rooms will interact with one another a little bit better, and then it's next to the bathroom. 
All right, who's ready to do some demo? Oh, nice. Get geared up, let's go. grab your tool of choice, and let's get to work, boys. What do you think? Huh? Now, this is not the oldest house we've worked on, but it's definitely not the newest house. And I definitely guarantee that there has not been a renovation done in this house in a long time. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Oh, this is at least 50 years old, I would say. It's snowing in August. George the Rescue is sponsored in part by Coldwell Banker. Find your place to call home at coldwellbanker.com. There's a number of different kinds of insulations out there. There's no insulation, that's not good for anybody. There's the uh, spray foam insulation, that's nice. And then there is the blown in insulation. And it is the foulest, worst, most disgusting stuff to deal with on a demo. I'm gonna have to open all the walls here. If you look at the ceilings, it's not gonna be worth keeping. Oh, dude, here's where the rat is. Ugh. What's the best thing about all this is that when we're done with this bathroom, my man James is gonna be able to shower in his own house. You're not supposed to be able to just pull a sink out. I'm sorry, uh, this bathroom needs to be taken apart. We're gonna bust right through that wall. We're busting right through this wall. Open this thing right up. So how do you focus? Ready? <laughs> hey, miss, did you see the way that Paul just went through that wall? I think I might have hit a stud. That bathroom was in bad shape, not just structurally, but inside the walls. The plumbing, the electric, Ugh. Thankfully, Blackman Plumbing delivered all the supplies we needed, and Antonio from Right Flow Plumbers came in and was able to fix everything. There's actually no vent pipe for this sink. So it just vents back down. It doesn't vent anywhere. Yeah, exactly. So what you got in a normal setup, is you have your sink drain, and then it drains down, but then there's another elbow that vents up, any gases. What we got here is the drain part, the water goes down, and then the gases come back up and just do a loop. And that's how you get a clogged drain. Now that we got the walls off, we can really see how this house is put together. And I'm no electrician, but thankfully the guys at Corbin Electric are. Just to be sure we, we're getting our bases covered here, we are going to take this stuff all out and everything will be replaced as new. And this way we know we're nice and safe. When in doubt, rip it out. Safety's always got to come first. You know, Paul, I'm looking at this, and if we continue ripping up all this tile, which we have to, it's going to go right underneath these cabinets. This is definitely going to fall apart. Here's what I'm thinking. We came in here to do a rescue for James, but it's come to our attention that the whole family needs a rescue, so we can do that. Listen, better. I got some great people. They can put something together right away for us, and uh, we could just start demoing this kitchen today. I love that. Let's I do love this. That. Carmen, you get in a new kitchen. Yeah! yeah Paul hooked us up with a great cabinet shop, cabinet plan, and they are providing us cabinetry for a brand new kitchen for the Casada family. We were not planning on going that route, and now we are able to, and it is a huge plus for the project. We have some samples for you so we can kind of go through the options. I prefer the white. I think the white works, so if we're able to get in the time, it's going to make their space feel like double the size. So the, the time frame right now on this? We can get it done in a week. This is going to, oh, forget That's it. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you Absolutely. so much, Dylan. As we're doing demo, you're taking load in, load out going up these side steps. And I just stopped to take a quick look at it. I mean, the railing is just rattling. It's literally about to come off in my hand. I got some good masons on board, and we're going to uh, we're gonna fix that. Hey, Gene, Ben, what's up, guys? George, how you doing, bud? I got a stoop I want to rip out, and you guys are the pros. I figured maybe you guys could lend me a sledgehammer, or uh, together we could uh, take this whole thing down. You want a sledgehammer, or would you rather use this thing? I'm a big kid who likes big toys, so uh, let's make a big mess. I got it on that one. 
George the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information about 3M products or to find a retailer near you, go to 3M.com. like a house of cards, my friend. Obviously, the inside of the house needed to be taken care of, but so did the outside of the house. So Mario Grano and Sons came in huge for us, doing all of the exterior patio stoop. They even put in a Bilco Stackwell egress system so that everything was up to code. Good job, guys, good job! And of course, the new stoop's gonna need railings, so TNA Ornamental Railings is hooking us up. That is not soup. That is liquid metal. Comes like this, and Ends up like that. I mean, that's the best adhesive there is. So what basically we're gonna do is we're gonna take this spotty insulation and we're gonna basically wrap this house up. We're gonna insulate it correctly. We're gonna make sure that we're gonna have no issues with air flowing in, air flowing out. Now that we got all the sheetrock up, it's time to do some sanding, and we got a lot of sanding. The 3M Precision Pro Grade sanding is top notch. What I like about this is it just peels right off. You can fold it, you can roll it, you can shape it however you want. It will get in any groove that needs sanding, and it can be used wet or dry. We got a lot of moving pieces right now on the rescue. We got painters going on. We're wrapping up the bathroom, tile, trim. These walls are painted a nice gray, and the trim we're gonna keep white. So to protect our trim, we're gonna use Scotch Blue Platinum Painter's Tape. It's very durable, and it really conforms to basically any angle you throw at it. So this way I can use one continuous piece of tape. The space looks absolutely amazing. Paul and his team did an amazing job just opening up the space. Everything just came together so beautifully and I can't wait to start bringing in the furniture and layering it all. All right, LeVette, you see this perch truck that's arriving? This is my favorite. Come on in, perch. We got cabinets, we got countertops, but no kitchen is complete nope. without appliances. It's the final piece of the puzzle. Welcome home, my friend. Oh, 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 gosh, this is like amazing. Oh, my goodness. You could have never done this. If you or someone you know is in need of a rescue, visit us at georgetherescue.com to submit your story. So we got a, a dishwasher, a microwave, a refrigerator, and an oven. And they're stainless steel. They're all stainless steel. Which is going to be perfect in the space. Yeah. Flex those triceps. Remember, you're on camera. We got this prism medical ceiling lift right here, which is really going to make his whole routine of getting out of the chair and into bed and vice versa a thousand times easier. Adaptable Home Solutions came in. I'll tell you, it was one of the, the coolest tests I've ever done. In order to make sure that it was going to be able to hold James's weight, we put on 550 plus pounds, all these cinder blocks, and then moved it around the room. Five hundo! All right. The big challenge for James sleeping is that he only has movement of his head. He can't roll over and he can't move in his bed. So ProBed coming in here and delivering this Freedom Bed, they don't even know the freedom that they are going to give James. Wow, this is not your run of the mill bed. This thing is amazing. What it does that his current bed or all other beds can't do is automate that difficult task of turning and positioning him. So it's really about shifting pressure so that he doesn't develop skin breakdown, getting fluid mobility to prevent pneumonia, Everything is beautiful, the place is all buttoned up, but accidents happen, and we got some holes in our wall. Not a problem. We can patch those up with 3M large hole repair. It's easy, you put in the backing, you put in the compound, you sand, you paint, and it's good as new. Now let's get Lovette in here for design. Ah, yes, look at this, this is amazing. Yeah, right? I love that reaction as soon as you walked in because 
Originally we came to do just James's room and we just had to do this entire first floor. In my design, it was important for me to leave a clear path for him so he could be with his family at all times without them having to like move things out of the way but still have it be beautiful. The floors were donated by JNS and they did a phenomenal job. I chose an all vinyl, which is basically a plastic. So there are no thresholds in between rooms. It is a straight shot, there's no bumps. We don't have to worry about the chair getting caught on anything and they look beautiful. Oh, I like that curtain. That's gonna go right up over the uh, sink. Nice pop, pop of orange. Beautiful pop of color. What you got there? I got a command shelf. I thought maybe instead of putting any more holes in the wall. Yes. So this is pretty simple this installation. Is super, right? super simple. So you just pull these things off like so. And then just pull off the side that says command. Step two is you peel this. There we go. And stick it on. All right. Now we can put this right. little note. There we go. Oh, Perfect. Good. I love it. See? Well Command done. strips. Command Come to the strips. rescue. Capital Lighting, they gave us all our light fixtures for the bathroom, for James's room, which you'll see is really cool. It's like this industrial feel. They got white pillows and yeah, pink you pillows. You can't just throw them well, on there. I wasn't There's sure where you were. Sorry. The pillow. I really hope that for the Xada family, this is like a, a stepping off point. They've encountered so much hardship in the past few years, and I feel like it's probably really hard to get your head above water, and hopefully we've helped them do that. And now they can start the next phase and say, okay, our home is taken care of. All right, I know it's been a, it's been a long, but hopefully very pleasurable stay at Extended Stay America. There's nothing really like coming home, right? Yeah. All right, James, Will, Carmen, welcome home. Damn! Wow. Oh, no! My oh, wow. God! Accommodations provided by Extended Stay America. Home away from home. For those building a better future with kitchens and a great price, it's the hotel that's just right. Welcome home. Damn! Wow. Oh, no! My <laughs> oh, wow! This That's is not our old house. Um, as soon as um, I walked in with everybody, it seems like a different place. It doesn't seem like it was a house before. It seems very comfortable. You guys are incredible. <laughs> well, James, you made a request if you could throw a kitchen in for my mom. That would be the best. <laughs> and uh, that was already in the works. But uh, <laughs> see, you got it. James put you first from the get-go, Carmen. All right, James, you want to see your bedroom? I'm ready. Yeah, this I'm is, I hope, the room you're looking for. <laughs> wow. James, this is, this is you right here. James, do a bed. Do a bed. It was a nice surprise when I saw the bed, um, the room. You know, as soon as you open the doors, I already knew it was going to be something, it was just going to be a game changer. Like, I never envisioned it for, to look like that. For James, I think this, this house is going to mean a lot. He has more space. Pretty sure he feels a lot happier, you know, going to therapy, you knowing coming back, he's going to be in a new room, in a comfortable bed. When we did the surprise, one of the things I walked away with was that you hadn't taken a shower in this house since the accident. Well, I think we remedied that. Are you ready? I'm ready. You don't have to shower right this second, but let me show you what we got. Jeez. Wow. You guys are just, I'm oh my God, phenomenal. The bathroom is the one thing I really, really wanted. Now I'll be able to go in there and have uh, have something that I wasn't able to have for a long time. I just want to say thank you guys for everything. 
all you guys are great and wonderful. You don't understand how much this means to me and I'll keep this for the rest of my life. I feel so lucky. I don't know how I'm gonna pay back, but uh, I will in some way. Thank you is not ever gonna be enough. It's not, a, it's not even close to like, what I feel for everything that everyone's done. You know, my battle through to get through this and you guys made it a lot easier for me to keep doing it every single day. Something that's never happened before on George Rescue is uh, our contractor, Paul, his, his father passed away on the second day of the rescue. On the third day of the rescue, Paul was here and he said like, George, this is where I need to be. This is where my dad would want me to be. Just his dedication to making sure that this house was done and done right for you guys. So much so that at his father's funeral in lieu of flowers, he said, I would like people to donate money to James Casada, and they just wanted to present you with the check. So not only did they, did they rescue the house, but they're continuing to rescue you.